Hey, we're back. I want to welcome you back to the channel. I'm your host, Mike. This is the Digital Review. And as always, we're talking about shoes and other things. This guy right here is the Windflow 7 by Nike. If you are looking for a nice budget shoe, something that you can do a lot of different things in, I would advise you to take a look at this shoe. I've had the Windflow 2, I've had the Windflow 6. The Windflow 8 is out right now, and this is the Windflow 7, and I love it. And I'm gonna tell you all about it in a few seconds. Be right back. All right, and I'm back. And like I said in the intro, we're gonna talk about this guy right here. This is the Nike Windflow 7. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you my categories of what I think you might find important, which is how they feel, the price, are they wide or narrow, who buys them, how do they use them, and are they indoor or outdoor shoes, okay? I also will tell you my one con with this shoe, so stay tuned for that. Now, as always, I like to go to the website and read what the website says about the shoe. So, the Nike Air Zoom Windflow 7 helps keep you running with an updated mesh design and an increased foam made with everyday runs in mind. Its cushion feel helps you stay focused on the path ahead. I agree with that. Lightweight ventilation, underfoot comfort, responsive and durable. More foam offers a springier feel and is responsive and durable. More benefits would be heel counter helps you feel secure in the shoe. Now, I'm going to stop there. This guy right here. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know I did the, the um, Windflow 6, black on anthrite on black. Basically all black on black. I love that shoe. I did the Windflow 2, and I think I deleted it. I still have that shoe. I threw out the Windflow 6, but the Windflow 2, I still have it. I bought that uh, at the Nike store sometime 2015 or something for like 30 bucks. Love that shoe. Super comfortable, okay? So with the Windflow 8 out, and I chose this one, this one was really comfortable as well. What was I coming from? My previous video, I had this guy right here. This is the Nike Legend uh, React 3, okay? Just called the React 3. I had this in blue and silver, and I went back and I got it in red and black. Red is my favorite color, as you guys already know. Um, but this is the problem with the shoe. It's a $100 shoe that looks like this and does this on the side. You can see that. It makes you feel like you're running like this. Look at it this way. It makes you feel like you're running like this. This is an ankle sprain waiting to happen after about three months. So this has got to go. All right. How I do my shoes is I either buy them new, wear them out at the gym, use them as chill shoes afterwards, buy them new, wear them out at the gym, use them as work shoes like doing the yard work, or I pitch them these gone so if you're out there you consider the nike legend react 3 understand that after that that foam starts to break down um your foot's gonna roll i don't know maybe it's the way i wear the shoe but just understand that this is really about three to five months and then it's out of here so goodbye now this guy right here starting with feel these are extreme These are extremely comfortable shoes. Um, they're cushiony, if that's even a word. I don't think I've ever felt like, man, these hurt. Like they don't hurt around the toes, around the width part of your foot, the bunion area. They don't hurt around your toes. You don't kick your toe, things like that. They don't hurt on the heel. These are just a really comfortable, well-made shoe. Durability. Uh, they're well made. The whole shoe is pretty much mesh from the midway forward. The back half, I don't know what this is. Uh, it's actually the same thing that's um, found on the, I forget what the shoe is called, but I've done a, a video on that too. Um, but the point is, the whole shoe is breathable, lightweight, mesh, well stitched, well crafted. Like things like this, you don't have to worry about them breaking or nothing like that. You know, I've had this shoe for two months now and Still looks like I just got it. They hold up well, which is another ding. I like that. Um, the price. On Nike.com right now, these are selling for $79.97. I got mine for $49.99 at the Nike outlet. It's an old model. I imagine the, the Nike Windflow 8 is probably right around $85. Bucks. So for an $85 shoe, to me, it fits in the $100 category. 
If you can find it for $49, $59, $65, somewhere in there, that is a steal. Pick them up. I actually bought two pairs. So if it to me, it's a budget shoe, uh, but it's a tier two shoe, and I'll get into that a little bit later. Indoor or outdoor? Uh, this could be classified as both indoor or outdoor. To me, it is an indoor shoe. It will lead us to one of our cons, but to me, this is an indoor shoe, and I'll tell you why. If you are somewhere in a wet climate area, let's say, you know, a uh, coastal city or something like that, or Pacific Northwest or something like that, if it rains a lot, you know, you're not going to want to go outside in straight mesh shoes. You're going to want something a little bit different. Um, your feet are going to get soaked if you run through puddles or anything like that, like most shoes. But, I mean, these just offer no protection against water. So, to me, this is an indoor shoe. Now, how do you use this shoe indoor? This can be for, let's say, a casual runner runs two miles a day, up to someone that runs five to ten, maybe even 15 miles a week. It can be used for a CrossFitter. It can be used for someone that does agility drills. I actually shoot baskets in these. And let me show you what the grip looks like. You know, the grip holds up very well, okay? Now, speaking of grip, that leads us to my first and only con for this shoe. If you have these and you're on the treadmill, you're gonna hear squeak, 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 squeak with damn near every step. I mean, you really have to be thinking, pick up my foot, pick up my foot when you run on the treadmill. You will drive your fellow treadmillers crazy, and that's okay, I don't mind driving people crazy. Put some headphones on. But the point is, understand that when you buy a Winflow product, all of mine have done this. The two, the seven, the six, all of them have done this. Squeak, squeak, squeak on the treadmill. Just understand that going into it. Um, if you run in a, let's say you're a hotel person and you know you you don't want to make a lot of noise. I don't know. Maybe you run, you're training your office in an uh, office gym somewhere. You're going to make squeak, squeak, squeak with these things right here. So just understand that. This is my only con of this shoe. Let's make sure I hit all the categories. Oh, the most important category. This is for someone that has a medium to wide foot. I'm going to put this up to the camera. You see that? This is a very flat, narrow, or excuse me, wide shoe. If you are someone with a narrow, high arch shoe, this is probably not the shoe for you. Me, I probably, I have a low arch. I don't have a super flat foot, but I have a flat foot, a wider foot. Um, I don't have a narrow foot. So for me, this is perfect. If you're someone again who has a narrow high arching shoe, you want to go uh, get something different like a Pegasus 30, 38, something like that. Pegasus 36, something like that. You don't want to run in this. Um, but other than that, man, this is just a solid shoe. And for 85 bucks, 80 bucks on website, you can't go wrong. I definitely didn't go wrong buying these at $49.99. I bought two pair, like I said. They came in five or six different colors. I thought this was snazzy. It matched a lot of the stuff that I have as far as workout gear is concerned. White and black, a little bit of gray. Green stands out kind of thing, so I picked them up. I would advise you, if you see these, pick them up also. So if you're someone that is, again, you're looking for a budget shoe under 100 bucks. You do a lot of different type of training. You just go to the gym and lift weights. You like multiple uh, types of colors on your shoes. You do a little bit of running. You want something that's comfortable, bouncy, uh, but yet you can also squat in these. You don't have to, all this cushion right here, you know, making your ankle come up like that. It's a pretty flat shoe. You can also squat in these. This is not bad. So with that being said, guys, I want to thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. If I didn't answer any of your questions about the shoe, I'll probably be wearing these for another three, four, five months. And then I'll have to either pitch these or use these as, as uh, yard work shoes. So you got about four months before uh, these are pew. All right, that's it. I want to thanks for watching again. This is the Digital Review. I'm your host, Mike. And I will see you in the next video.